Prepared to die, Optimus Prime. You don't have the balls to take me on. Did you really have to go there? I didn't know what he was going to do to me. He just told me I was getting an upgrade. I had nothing to do with that decision. Hey, Devastator. I found those maces you were looking for. <laughs> Can't we just start fighting again? Hey Rangers, welcome to Super Important Reviews. My name's Steve and today we'll be going over the Transformers Generation and Combiner Wars Devastator. This guy is comprised of six Voyager class Constructicons that make one ultimate Decepticon. Which for this review, since I don't usually get that many views on my Transformer reviews, I'm actually going to be doing what I'm going to call an abridged review, where I'm going to go over each of the six Constructicons very briefly and pretty much give you guys a quick little summary of what I like about them, what I don't like about them, go over their stuff real quick, so that we can get to the main attraction that is Devastator. And because if I normally did this how I usually do my reviews, this guy would probably be closer to a 40 minute, 50 minute review. So I wanna to try to keep this pretty brief. So without further ado, for the packaging, love the front of this box, it looks awesome. Really actually like too that the picture on the front here for Devastator is actually raised up from the packaging and really gives it this nice look to it. Shows these six Voyager class Decepticons on the front here. Some guys about to get stomped out on the bottom here. Looks really cool. Includes a Devastator card for the top of the packaging. Just tells you each of the six Decepticons names with Hook, Lawn Hall, Scavenger, Bone Crusher, Scrapper, and Mixmaster. For the side of the packaging, you just get the same image of Devastator, but not actually raised. Other side of the packaging, just some Lego mumbo jumbo. Then for the back of the packaging, just gives you a nice image of Devastator in actual 18 inch size. Tells you how many steps each of the Constructicons are going to take to transform. And gives you a little bit of bile here at the top, which if you guys want to read it real quick, I'll let you. Alright, we're good? Alright. And that's pretty much it for the packaging. Let's get this guy opened up out of his cardboard prison. Now that we have the Constructicons open up out of their cardboard prison, first I'm going to go over the, some of the extra stuff they came with, starting with this giant poster size instruction sheet, which for starters, on the front of it here, it tells you how to get the Constructicons from their vehicle form into robot form. And on the back of the packaging, it just tells you how to get them into the Devastator form. He also comes with this weird little jetpack thing, which you use for the chest piece of Devastator. And it can be used on Lawn Hall here as more of like jet wings, even though the propulsion looks like it's kind of facing the wrong way, but it still looks cool overall. And for some of the weapons, they come with a pair of missile launchers, which overall look really nice. These are what actually convert into the hands here, which all you do is you pretty much just flop this over, Bam, you got the hand right here. But for the most part, they look really nice. Very suitable, you get a pair of them because again, it needs two hands. And also you get these pair of cannons, which look really nice as well. Pretty simplistic, but I really do like the overall style that they had going on here. Looks really good. And also you can combine them into making one giant cannon for your Devastator. So my only issue is you can see here, we only have four weapons total and six Constructicons. So two of them are gonna be without weapons, which is a bit of a bummer. Cause especially if you're gonna wanna be keeping these guys in their robot form, kinda want them with a weapon, you know? And it would've been really easy for them just to toss in two extra random little weapons that we could've maybe attached onto Devastator somewhere. But sadly, they didn't. So our first Constructicon we're gonna go over here is Lawn Hall, which is the largest of the Constructicons from inside of the packaging. And one of the things I just love about this guy in general, his overall commanding shelf space that he has, because he's a very imposing looking Constructicon with his overall size. Overall, love the head sculpt on this guy, very reminiscent of the G1 Transformers. Overall has a lot of very nice molded details on his body. A lot of varying shades of colors. Really love the use of a lot of different colored plastic for this guy. Major nitpicks of this guy is overall his proportions are a little bit off because to me his legs seem very stumpy and really large in comparison to his upper body because they're very wide but not very long. And his arms are freaking tiny, like he has little T-Rex arms. And the other thing that's a little bit of a bummer is his overall articulation, because a lot of it is pretty hindered. Because the best articulation is here at the shoulder, at the head, and at the waist here, which are on these really loud ratchet joints. But for his official waist, it's hindered by his huge backpack that he has here. And for his elbows, they can only move side to side, so he gets a little bit of an angry shake to his fist. Next, we'll go over Scrapper here, which is overall my official favorite of all the Constructicons. In terms of overall design, he is the best looking out of all of them in terms of overall details and just body proportion in general. As one of the nicest looking head sculpts out of all of the Constructicons, really love the details on the body here. 
Legs look good, arms look fairly normal, and his backpack isn't that big. Mostly his only real problem I've been seeing is with the articulation is for his elbow right here because he literally has no elbow bend to it. You only get a rotation here which is a wee bit of a bummer, but for the most part, the rest of his articulation is very good, where everything moves very nicely, has a nice bend, even has a little bit of a foot pivot. So it's really the only hindrance on this guy is for this elbow. And the other major problem is that he has a little bit of empty plastic syndrome, where you can see right here in his arms, a little bit of empty gaps right there. That's mainly because of the transformation right there. And also on the back of the legs here and on the inside of the thigh is a lot of missing plastic. And then moving on to one of my more least favorite of the Constructicons is Mixmaster, which overall has a weird shape to his body. As you see, he's got this nice thorax sticking out of the back here, very reminiscent of a bee. His legs are freaking huge. Overall, not a whole lot going on here with the body, especially with how thin it looks from the front. It looks like he doesn't really have a whole lot going on here, but then we... That's a really weird side profile. And then for some of his pros, head sculpt actually looks really, really good. Really love that he actually has the mouth there. It looks sweet. Still has a lot of very nice molded details with the Decepticon symbol on the tummy, but he's just not overall a very good looking transformer, especially with his awkward shaped feet on the bottom here. And with his articulation, just a little weird too, especially with the arms right here, just kind of looks silly with this weird little peg for the elbow bend right here. So pretty much if you want to look kind of normal, you have to keep it straight. And then when you start to bend it, it just looks funny, you know? But overall the articulation, like he's fairly posable. Mainly got like rotations here. It's a little bit hard to move the head here and it tends to pop out a little bit, but it's nothing too major. Just gotta pop it right back in. But for the legs, even though how goofy they look, they still have a lot of nice movement, really good bend, and even has a little bit of an ankle pivot there. And next we're moving on to Bone Crusher here, which his profile is actually very nice for these guys, which the only one that really beats him is Scrapper in terms of overall design and aesthetics. That sculpt on this guy is actually one of my more least favorites though, just for how boxy it is, and it's just not quite as aesthetically pleasing in my opinion. But he actually has a lot of nice molded details on the body here. For the legs, since they're pretty much the treads, they look a little weird to me, but overall they work really well, especially for articulation purposes, because there's a lot of nice bends on here. The one thing that sucks about this guy though is this part tends to pop out really easy, especially when you start to play around with it, because you have to line this peg up into this peg hole right here, and it doesn't stay in there very well, which when you shift that out, and if I get it back in there, when you start to shift that out, it just pops it right back out and it's a little annoying. But the articulation for the majority of this guy is still very good. Really nice elbow joints, has a lot of rotations and bends to them. Head has our nice articulation. Nothing at the waist here, which the only one that actually has any waist articulation is long haul, because none of these other guys really have any rotation here at the hips. And then moving on to hook, overall looks really good as well in terms of overall body profile. Love that this actually helps to give him some articulation, even though it looks a little weird, but it helps to keep him upright and balanced. And overall, his profile in robot form doesn't look all that bad. And even though he's pretty much the same kind of body type as Mixmaster, without the giant backpack that Mixmaster really has, it's not really all that bad. Like again, this just helps to keep him upright and balanced, so I actually really like it. And then for his overall details, the head sculpt is not too bad. Still has that weird kind of boxing going on in the back here, but overall still looks really good. Overall, the body has a lot of nice molded details on it. Love the color variation. Legs look really good. And the only real ugly thing on this guitar guy is again, the arms look freaking hideous with this little peg elbow joint. Really, that's probably the thing that bothers me the most about any of these guys is these stupid little arms right here. But for the most part, the articulation is still pretty good on him, where he actually has a really nice pivot to his head. Shoulders move very well. Elbows only really have a bend there. Legs move in and out, forward, back. Nice bend at the knee, and some more foot pivots. And then finally, we move on to Scrapper, which overall, his body profile is pretty nice. Kind of wish that this actually had a little bit more of an articulation here, just to help hide the claw here a little bit better because it does stick out on the back here quite a bit. But for some of the details, the head sculpt is very, very boxy, but still looks pretty good nonetheless. His body shape on the front is a little bit weird in my opinion. Like it has a lot of nice details, 
but just the shape of it kind of throws you off a little bit, but it's not too bad. Overall for his legs are the same treads that Bone Crusher has, which really actually helps with the articulation because you get a lot of nice movements in here. For his arms have a decent amount of empty plastic on them, but overall it's not too bad because it still has a very nice shape to him. The only real main problem I have here is with the scoop on the back here, it just doesn't really hide that well. And his front profile is a little bit weird looking, but overall still looks very nice. And then just to briefly go over each of their vehicle forms, overall the majority of them I don't really have any major complaints about. Like all in all here, his vehicle form looks very solid. The only noticeable complaint I have is there's a little bit of empty gap right there, but for the most part everything else looks pretty good. Scavenger looks awesome as well, literally has literally nothing I can really complain about this guy. He even has a little bit of articulation here for the scoop. I guess if I had one major complaint, again, would have been nice to see a little bit of articulation right here just so the scoop can move in and out, but overall still looks very nice. Love scrapper vehicle form as well. Has a little bit of gapping on the back portion right here, but has a very nice profile to the overall figure here. A lot of nice molded detail. And also the scoop has a little bit of articulation to it as well. Hook also has a very solid vehicle form. Noticing kind of a trend here with the back portions having a little bit empty gapping right there. But overall the profile for the vehicle looks really good. And also the hook can also move up and down. Really nice range of motion. Maybe I'd like to see a little bit of an extending kind of mechanism just so that it could stretch out a little bit more because that's pretty much what they do. But it does work very well for this figure nonetheless. And then for Bone Crusher, vehicle form looks really, really solid. It actually has no real noticeable gapping here except maybe if you want to consider that right here and that part's kind of popped out a little bit. But the vehicle form looks fantastic. Even love the plow on the front of here which can lift up and down and shift a little bit if you need it to. The one thing I noticed that's kind of funny on this guy though, is that right here for the picture, you'll notice that the cockpit right here is actually kind of on its side. While on this, it's facing more towards the front and that is how it should be if we were going by the picture here. Which there's actually no real way of getting this to turn, like all it literally does is just pop up and that's about it. So it's kind of like a funny little blooper that's going on between the instructions and the actual figure. And then finally we have Mixmaster, which is my least favorite again out of all the vehicles because this front end looks stupid. Like I really don't actually like the front end on this figure at all. Like this is literally how it should be looking, at least in my opinion. But like, as I've seen some versions of these where it's kind of like this, but it looks really, really silly. Like overall, it still works perfectly fine for being a vehicle form. It's just, that's kind of eh. And I know they're putting out a third party accessory that actually will give you a more truck looking front end, which I actually am thinking about picking up for this guy. But as it sits right now, not horrible, but my least favorite of the set. And then we have Devastator in his fully assembled form, which I gotta say, this is definitely the reason why you are buying this set. Cause I know when I bought Devastator, I didn't buy them to be setting them up as each of the individual robots. I mainly bought them to have them to combine to look like Devastator, which this figure does very, very nicely. Overall, for some of the details, the head sculpt looks awesome. Very reminiscent of Devastator and I actually have it popping on a little bit right there. Looks really good. Actually has a bit of a swivel to it too. That's a, actually, this figure overall has a lot of very nice articulation. But for the details, head sculpt looks great. Love the upper body on this guy. Like he has a lot of nice details going on with a lot of molded sections in here. Love the paint job and the overall use, different use of color plastic on here. Looks great. Have a nice Decepticon emblem on his chest. And it, what's nice too is that the piece right here that was kind of like the little jet pack for long haul and just overall mainly meant for this purpose is that it actually hides up a lot of the empty plastic that happening behind here because if you pop this thing off, getting it off real quick, you'll see that there's a lot of gapping here and you kind of tell, start to tell where this guy is combining with all of the other Transformers. And this actually helps to hide that a lot. Oh, well, for the arms, they look really nice too. My only complaint is that the right arm right here kind of looks a little bit thin from the front profile. You can see right here though that the scoop actually kind of gives it a little bit of added dimension. So helps to hide the fact that this looks a little thinner than it really is. But from a side profile, still looks very nice. And then for his forearm, has a lot of awesome details in there. Looks great, love the way the hand looks. The hand is also articulated, but when you're messing around with the articulation with the hand, the little handle here tends to pop out, but it's not a big deal. But I love that they gave us a little bit of hand articulation there. 
One thing is, I kind of wish that it wasn't black though. It would have been nice to maybe have purple just so it has a nice continuity right here so that, because a lot of Death Series is just mainly just greens and purples and the black just seems a little bit off place personally. It's not so bad on the left arm though because the part that connects is black. But then again, I just would have just liked to have seen all purple right there. It just would have looked better personally. But the upper arm right here, the bicep, actually looks a lot nicer though because it has a nice thickness to it. Looks overall how a arm should. Overall for the waist has a lot of nice details that you can see left over from long haul. And then for the legs, like, he has some awesome gorgeous legs. Like, they actually look like one solid piece. Like, this is actually how it should look. Like, this guy overall, especially in this form, looks like he should look like this. Like, you wouldn't think that it's six different Transformers making one dude. Like, all the seams hide very well, and especially in the leg region right here. Like, my only real complaint in terms of the legs is that for the scrapper portion, it just looks a little thin in my opinion. And you can see there's a little bit of empty plastic right there. But overall, it still works pretty well. And the funny thing is that actually Mixmaster actually has the best looking leg over here where everything looks very nice, very thick, has a nice mass to it. Looks awesome. And then just to show you guys the back of the legs real quick, which is where the figure starts to not shine quite as much. But then again, you're not gonna really be gazing at it from the back too much. Like if you're gonna have to get this guy displayed, it's probably gonna be from the front or from some kind of side profile. But from the back of the legs, like you kind of start seeing where the Transformers actually start to show up. And Scrapper, again, being my favorite looking of the Constructicons in vehicle and robot form, it doesn't look quite as good when he's combined to make the leg. Like, you can see there's a lot of gapping here in the back here as well. So in terms of that, he does have one part where he doesn't shine quite as well as the rest. And then moving up the rest of the back here, looks really nice. The backpack helps to hide a lot of the empty plastic that's going on right there. Except for if you look at it from the top a bit, you can see that there's a little bit of parts missing from the top where it's just, you can see again, a lot of added air space. But again, you're not gonna really be looking at it from the top, mainly from the front and the sides, which overall this guy looks phenomenal from those perspectives. And he actually stands up pretty well overall, like pushing him a little bit. He seems to stay up pretty well, but you're not gonna be wanting to mess around with him too much though. And overall, like now he's starting to kind of shift as I'm moving him around. But he actually does have a lot of very nice posability where you can hold a pose pretty well on your shelf. And then to go over his articulation very quickly, his head can rotate all the way around. Can't really move up unless you want to pop out the socket right here. For his shoulders, can rotate all the way around. Has a nice bend in and out, and I just dislocated everything out of here. That part actually seems to pop out pretty easy on mine, but for the most part, moves in and out very nicely. Nice joint at the elbow here. Again, starting to pop out again. Stop it. Has a rotation at the elbow. Hand can bend in and out. Also has a rotation at the hand here. Really nice. Although, removing this around, it tends to seem to want to dislocate from the hand here. And stop it. <laughs> the hand tends to want to dislocate when you're trying to rotate it a bit, at least in my opinion. But it's nothing too major. Like if it pops out, it pops pretty much right back in. Has a nice rotation here at the waist for the legs. Can move a little bit forward, a little bit back. Has a rotation here at the upper part of the leg. Can also move in and out on a very heavy ratchet joint. Also has a bend right here at the lower part of the thigh. Same with this leg right over here. Actually has crazy amount of movement there. And then for the lower part by the feet has a nice pivot to it so you can have them standing at a little bit more awkward positioning. And the front parts of the feet can technically move a little bit forward and a little bit back. And then that's pretty much it for the overall articulation. Like he actually moves around very nicely. The only thing is, is some of the parts, especially this part of the foot tends to want to shift really easily. So when you're positioning them, just make sure when you put this back in, make sure it's hooked in there very nicely to keep them from tipping over. But overall, he does hold his pose very well. It has a lot of very nice articulation. And in terms of the Devastator form, this figure is phenomenal. And for some quick comparisons for you Kaiju fans, here's Devastator compared next to the 18 inch tall Gypsy Danger. And here he is compared next to some large scale Godzilla figures with the Bandai Creation Godzilla from Godzilla X Mecha Godzilla 
and the 2014 NECA 24 inch lawn version. And here he is compared next to the Titan class Metroplex. So you can tell that Metroplex is definitely the larger of the two. And here is with some of my masterpiece figures with the Hasbro masterpiece Optimus Prime and Soundwave. Which is the main reason I bought Devastator to begin with so that I could have him standing next to these gorgeous figures. And here is some Generations figures with the Combiner Wars Megatron Leader Class and the Leader Class Jetfire. So over with the Constructicon 6 pack, the Constructicon individually are okay. They're definitely not the best looking Voyager Class Transformers that have come out in recent memory. But they are pretty serviceable overall. My major nitpick is that I wish they came with a little bit more accessories, especially guns because a few of them are going to be without weapons if you want to keep them in that form. The vehicle forms actually look really nice on pretty much all the Constructicons, except for Mixmaster, who is pretty much the black sheep of the set, being the my least favorite of all of them. But where this figure definitely shines is when you combine them to make Devastator, which looks fantastic. Love the details, love the color scheme, love the articulation, love the size. Like, there's nothing pretty much wrong with him when he's combined. And it's definitely the reason you should be buying this set. If you want to be buying these guys to have the Constructicons individually displayed, I would probably look elsewhere with the third-party Devastators actually looking really nice individually. But if you're just looking for a very large and in charge Devastator and want something that looks pretty good with your masterpieces and your CW line, then look no further than the Hasbro Devastator. So what do you guys think? Have you guys picked up the Hasbro Devastator? Do you guys like this more abridged review or would you just have preferred a more in-depth detail look at Devastator? Please let me know in the comments. We'll have closer pictures on Facebook if you want to click the link in the description below. Help us defeat those kaijus by hitting that like button, subscribe to become a ranger today, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.